Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Yena in the Slayer League. In this video we will be laning against Ryoma. So it's going to be an interesting one. Yena can one shot Ryoma and is actually a very good pick against her. And also guys, uh, this is one of the most exciting matches with Yena that I have ever played. We do a lot of uh, 1v2 and 1v3 and we come out on top. So make sure to watch the video till the end i'll also be giving you guys a lot of tips as usual and here we go all right guys so uh, i knew that ryoma will probably i was like i was thinking that ryoma is probably hiding in the opposite uh, brush and uh, walking up towards the brush will mean that he will attack me with his second ability and his enhanced auto attack so it's unnecessary so that is why i didn't and here i used my first ability on the minions minions and then jumped on to quillen and look at how much damage we were able to do guys and we didn't even buy an attack item uh, the equipment that we have is actually um, shoes as our first item but still just our passive was able to deal that much damage but since we did the passive on quillen we were not able to do that again on ryoma because it goes into cooldown and this is a misplay by ryoma uh, Ryoma has to use his first ability through a wall or on an enemy so that he can use it again uh, but uh, since he just used it, used, his, uh, used it as a means of uh, coming closer to me he was not able to use it again to escape and that is how we got the kill and then this was unnecessary by the enemy UV uh, she was trying so hard to get my kill and even if she had got my kill it was still uh, not worth it in my opinion because she would have died anyways but uh, dying and not even getting the kill is far worse than that okay looks like quillen is here in our lane and he is fighting Yoma. and unfortunately we won't be getting to level 4 after clearing the wave because we missed out on some uh, xp and here quillen is taking the slayer so the best thing that i can do is trying to uh, try to make Ryoma retreat and not get the uh, slayer i mean try to slay, steal the sl uh, slayer and that is what we did so don't uh, like that will be the better help instead of trying to help your uh, fellow fellow jungler uh, trying to get the slayer make sure that your ds slayer is not trying to steal it so that will be the better thing to do in that uh, scenario okay so now i was just camping to see if we can find someone and unfortunately ue unfortunately for her she walked up to me and before even she could use her uh, ultimate to escape we were able to silence her and then stun chain her with our second ability and finish her off and look at how much damage we did to ryoma guys so yeah uh, if you know how to use the passive of yana properly you will be able to deal this much damage and here this is another misplay by ryoma Always remember that if Yana manages to hit a dash on an enemy or on a hero, his first ability, uh, I mean, if Yana manages to do that, her first ability will be refreshed and it can be used again immediately. So, I think Ryoma forgot about that or he is ignorant and that led him, led to his death right there. And here I can see you in the bottom lane, right? See, uh, she went to clear the DS lane. So she will be coming through this way only so we can kill her if we camp here. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I think Yui was trying to get her passive up before she came to the lane and that is why she was just randomly throwing abilities on the way here. And looks like Quillen and Ryoma are fighting so... Okay, bad flicker by Ryoma. I think he tapped the flicker out of panic and instead of flickering in inside the tower, he flickered outside uh, making it easier for us to kill him. Okay, let's now uh, start playing aggressive because we have dominated our DS laner and also the enemy jungle is weak. Um, look, their support hasn't come yet. I, we haven't even seen their support till now. So that's a sign of a bad support in my opinion because supports have to, at least after uh, seeing that the team is losing badly on this side of the map, they should start uh, rotating but they didn't even do that only now they were here but uh, my team decided to abandon me so we died they all escaped uh, it's okay uh, we have two kills one in death and three assists now which is pretty good uh, and we are still winning the lane which is awesome okay so looks like hayate has swapped his lane uh, i was just checking here to see if he 
told me about swapping because he lost his tower and uh, i was just worried that he might have told me to swap like one minute i mean 30 seconds back uh, and i was the one who failed to notice but it looks like he hasn't said anything about swapping so thank you so much hayate for letting your tower down and saving mine i really appreciate that and here we saw these two traps uh, and immediately after you see the eye symbol above your head it means that you are uh, inside elsu's vision so make sure that uh, you find wherever the sentinel is and remove it uh, here i tried to kill elsu uh, we did a lot of damage but uh, even through our stun chain he was able to quickly use the second ability in close up and he was able to finish us off and at this point of the match i realized that elsu is going to be the problem for us because he is playing really good even though it's his first kill uh, if you see the gold he has a lot of gold that is what i am checking right now and if we don't stop him soon he is going to be a very big problem because he is a marksman after all and i am not having uh, as much as gold as him i am like more than 10 uh, more than 1000 gold behind elsu so this is my next goal in this match so this is how you have to play guys always check which opponent is trying to carry so in their team elsu is like the best player right now because he was able to outplay us and kill us um, others quillen and the others we were able to kill them easily but elsu hasn't even died yet and he knows how to farm so since he has 1k more gold than me he obviously knows how to farm right so he is going to be the problem you guys uh, watch this match and in the end you will see how how big of a problem he is going to be and uh, Yeah from this moment of the match Elsu has become my primary target and I am going to work towards killing Elsu uh, because he is the one who is going to try and carry his team so if I stop him that will be like 50% of the work done and uh, he is just trying to poke Ryoma out he has also swapped lanes so yeah let's see okay our whole team is here but I don't think we'll be able to uh, dive Ryoma and finish the tower off it's not worth it in my opinion but instead look at what i did here guy uh, guys i instantly used the minions as uh, a platform to take off and uh, use my first ability two times so if you guys didn't know if you use your first ability with yana on anything like a minion or a creep you will get it again right so just like how i play florentino uh, whenever i have the passive i will jump on minions and then attack the hero who is standing behind the minion right so the same thing i did here also i jumped on the minions and then jumped on uv and before she can react i stun chained her and finished her off and also here uh, i didn't dive under the tower and that is a good thing because ryoma had the arctic arc uh, if i was uh, hasty and if i just went inside the tower i would have died because he used arctic arc and he was just standing there so uh, lucky i guess i wasn't even i was not like paying attention that he was having a car or anything like that uh, just lucky i decided to not uh, dive him and it turned out good because if i die if i had dived him i mean if i have dove him i guess uh, we would have killed him for sure but since he had arty car uh, he would have outplayed us and okay looks like yeah see guys elsu has started destroying our team all uh, three of the my teammates are dead in the bottom lane so we have to go and check it out okay uv and elsu are here again i'm going to use the minions as the launching pad yeah it worked out excellently for us and we were able to instantly one shot elsu before even he can uh, use his ultimate and try to escape and uv is also dead you saw what i did there again guys this is what you can do with yana and also if you are playing against yana watch out for this because if there are minions in front of you yana can jump through the minions and use her first ability again and come close to you and finish you off so that is exactly what i'll be doing a lot of times in this match which you should be very careful about when playing against yana and which you should also do when you are yana okay so this is one of the biggest tips that i can give you this match and also guys yana is not very complicated i have played like 40 or 50 matches with her uh, in my 4 years of playing aov so that's not a lot compared to other heroes that i play so even with that uh, number of matches i am able to play like this so she is probably one of the easier heroes uh, she is a bit harder uh, the skills are a bit complicated but once you know 
what each ability does you will be able to easily kill anyone she just one shots everyone unlike florentino who has to do combos and stuff nothing uh, like that is needed for yana she just if you go in and tap all the buttons the enemies will die she she is that type of a hero and also we have, we got our uh, second attack item and that is the third item in our overall build okay we are going in again see guys i used the minions to jump towards uv uh, she used her ultimate to escape and i'm going to do the same thing again but instead of minions i was going to use mina to jump on to uv but uh, mina used her ultimate and uh, stopped me from doing that but still yeah see again use the minions i know that uv will come again to use her ability and at the exact moment i used the minions to jump towards uv and finish the rock okay now looking for the quad kill let's see if we can get it okay again minions but yeah helso was able to instantly react he didn't even try to fight me back even though i was low hp he simply just ulted immediately and the ultimate alone finished me off and did you guys see yeah this is what i am checking right now helso has three equipments now uh, first is war boots then fafnir's talon murumasa and he also has fenrir's tooth fenrir's tooth is the sec is the second most expensive item in the game and he already has it which means that he is very very good at farming he is going to every other lane and trying to carry the match so i am also going to try and do the same thing i have the most gold in my team he has the most gold in his team so my primary target is going to be elsu and he also knows that he knows that i'll be coming for him uh, every single time from now on because only then i'll be able to win the match so we'll see how it goes okay um still this tower has not fallen riyama is doing a pretty good job at defending this tower but uh, very <laughs> bad at team fights riyama is not a very good hero guys he's simply overrated just by a few players who play him other than that he's just a trash hero who can't do anything at all looks cool does a lot of cool abilities but can't even one shot a regular marksman that is how bad he is okay uh coming back from riyama hit okay i'm just going to camp here and see if someone else comes to help elso and its poor uv rip to uv before she can even use her ultimate to escape she got silenced and killed i'm going to wait here again because i know that this elso will try to use a sentinel here and get vision yeah see and that led to his death okay and i panicked a bit and touched my first ability again in otherwise i could have escaped but guys just like i predicted elso came right uh you might think that uh, just now i killed uv there so elso will not come so uh you might have thought i would leave but that's the outplay guys because if i were elso there i would be very curious to see if i'm still inside okay if uh just from elso's perspective if i'm the elso what i'll be thinking is let's see if yana is still hiding there so what what will i do to see that i'm not going to directly come inside the brush right so i'll come to the corner of the rock and place my sentinel there so that i can get the vision inside the brush and that is exactly what that elsu did and i was able to instantly jump on him and finish him off there so we were able to kill the mage and their marksman and then we died so that's worth it in my opinion and especially since i killed elsu Elso now even has devil's handshake in his equipment and this is a very good spot to camp but see this is the sentinel that i was talking about which elso has placed and which led to his death so elso is like minded as me and that is how i was able to outplay him and here again rioma okay we did a decent amount of damage and this is the mistake by him again he he decided to stay Uh, and uh, he ended up dying okay quillen is coming i'm not really afraid of quillen i know that he'll be coming straight for me so use my second ability and then ultimate and then second ability and then ultimate again and now back to dual wielding form our attack speed is actually insane and we were able to kill them both and now we got the triple kill so will it be the quad kill we're going on to mina and yeah i decided to go back yeah she used her ultimate right if i tried to attack her there i would have died but then without uh, getting her hp back she tried to defend and ended up dying and here is where uh, our shield of lost came in clutch uh, if i was buying a magic item instead of shield of lost i would have died i noticed that their ue isn't doing anything at all so i don't need magic defense 
so just because there is a mage in the opponent you don't need magic defense if their mage is not doing anything you don't really need it and since elsu is the one who is doing everything in order to counter him i buy both mail of pain and shield of the lost so this is a kind of a situational build uh, usually you will go for a magic uh, defense there but instead i'm going to go for double armor okay okay now it's 15 minutes into the game and i have to kill elsu now he is fully built he even has uh, the blade of eternity so even if i kill him now he'll still get up so that is going to be a big problem so i tried to camp here but looks like villain was already camping so as soon as he saw me he just ran away so now the whole enemy team has my vision right so i'm going to stay here i'm just paying attention to see if elsu has his sentinel somewhere and okay that is elsu right yeah he came and placed a sentinel here i tried to remove it but he attacked me so i'm going to flicker in and surprise him and finish him off yeah we were instantly able to flicker uh, towards him with our first ability and flicker combo and we were able to finish him off and our team is going in hayate is a really good player guys um i didn't play a lot of matches with him i haven't played a lot of matches with him but uh three matches he played hayate and he was really good and he was able to carry the team in the late game we did our job we managed to go in not only kill the uh, elsu but we also forced their entire team to jump on me and that was very helpful for my team to finish them off and that is going to be the end of the match rioma definitely isn't going to be able to defend and yeah gg guys so this is like one of the best ena matches that i have played and also this is on my new phone so i hope the quality is really good and also the audio quality and uh consistent videos will be coming from now on hopefully uh, at least until the 3rd of uh, january because until then i have holidays daily and also i'll be going live today guys so if you are free make sure to join and uh, let's have fun together okay let's see we got the mvp obviously we, we got like 12 kills and we died five times right yeah overall very good match solid match okay So that's going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. We are so close to 5000 subscribers. Um thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.